We are. Yeah. Back. Back. Back with another freaking what? video. <laughs> Did you video. miss me? Did you miss me? Yeah. Focus He's even up. taller. It's because I'm a baller. Oh, that's when everybody's supposed Shot to hold you back. Shot caller. Okay. What's good, y'all? What's going on? Shot What's going on? This is Not June, 96. June, June, June. Gloom. June, y'all. Not gloom. No, June glory. That's what I'm going to call it. Yes, June not glory. Gloom. Gloom, I sound down Hope dead. Your June 1st is starting off as, out, as awesome as ours. We got some new content for y'all guys. So excited to do this. Keep smashing the like button. Keep watching all the way to the end. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. And give us a feedback below. Hey, Let's man. go. So we got a fresh one, man. We got... I don't know. We saw this during the list and we're like, all right, we're going to do this one. It's America's most inbred family. That's this is probably pretty crucial, be weird. guys. Yeah, this is like deep. Well, why my Come in, bring your sister. I mean, your, well, my is wife. Is my cord supposed to be plugged up? That's, I got power, but do I need to oh, plug yeah, it yeah. up? Do I need to plug it in here? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. No? Yes. Okay. You know, I thought you were plugging it. I don't know what I thought you were doing. All right, let's go. Let's go. Bring my, bring your sister, my wife. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Just above Can you hear that? Uh -huh. Baseball. Incest is one of America's most popular pastimes. What? Oh, what? I heard that. I was like, wait a minute. What? I reached for my phone to get a selfie. Pastime what? Like, man, no, you know what? You. I am really interested. My sister is looking good. I need some of that. No, uh, thanks. Uh, uh. Okay, go. Keep doing it. Like in Europe, certain families were at one time notorious for practicing it. Some did so believing their bloodline was special and needed to be kept pure, while others did so yeah. to ensure their fortune would remain within the family. Either way, it always led to disastrous consequences, to the point it was almost synonymous with tragedy. Such was the case for one of America's most rich and powerful families. That one, your son, that eye come out like this, look. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Such was the case for one of America's most This is rich the story of that and family powerful. and of their self imposed curse. That's a curse, well, absolutely. That is a curse. That ain't what you want to do. With an estimated fortune of $14.3 billion, the DuPont family are among the most wealthy in North America. Wow. For centuries, they have wielded political influence, playing a role in historic events like the Louisiana Purchase. But the DuPonts have always been secretive, existing only in a bubble of extreme wealth. And wow. over the years, strange rumors emerged of their involvement in Satanism, incest, and even murder. Now my audience is far. I wouldn't doubt it if you're like, let's keep our bloodline clean. Let's have sex with each other. I wouldn't doubt if you got all kind of stuff you doing. From normal, so you might not think those things are strange, but they just are. The Dupont dynasty began with a man called Pierre. He was a minor government official who fled France during the revolution with his two sons. In America, they established a gunpowder plant, okay. supplying powder to the U.S. Army. Wow. With few competitors, the company grew quickly, and by the mid-1800s they were rich. Okay. In time, several DuPonts would become senators, and even governor of the state of Delaware, mm. because politics is what rich people do for fun. Wow, they were seen as equal to the Rockefeller and Vanderbilt that? family. Hey, I thought they were about to go, we about to go see some, some cockeyed cousins. You gotta so. wait till we get there. He, he, they gotta tell the man, story. Man, this thing going through the whole story, man. We come don't on, see no cockeyed cousin. No. Let's go. It's interesting. And by the 1920s were America's richest dynasty. But behind wow. their success was a dark secret. Incest. Patriarch Pierre Dupont openly encouraged it. Wow. He once told his family, the marriages that I should prefer for our colony would be between the cousins. In that way, we should be sure of honesty of soul and purity of blood. Wow, did and not so know DuPont that. family members were raised to believe it was not only accepted, but right. Wow. It would turn wow. out to be a big part of his legacy, with cousin marriage common within the family for an entire century. Oh, 
Going into the 1900s, they put the incest to one side because that kind of thing went out of fashion quickly. Right. But many would claim their past mistakes would have a long-lasting, terrible impact on the DuPont family. According to a local legend in Delaware, the years of incest gradually distorted their minds. Locked away in their grand estates, they turned to Satanism, performing mm. human sacrifice on skull-shaped altars. Oh my god. Wow. Is this real? Probably. Because if you probably know how distorted that thinking probably is. That's messed up. Yeah. No, yeah. so they must have been really closed off from communication or socializing with the rest of the world. Because if they have friends, the friends would already let them know. They were always probably doing. Being part of a cult with other rich and powerful families, their ultimate goal was to summon the devil and make a pact with him. Why? It is said they would kidnap poor children from nearby villages to serve as an offering to Satan. Wow. And the many of the DuPont estates were eventually gifted to the cult, most of which now lie abandoned. There is no actual evidence to support any of these claims. Right. But for generations, the legend has persisted. Also, let's face it, Evidence is boring. Cult or no cult, the DuPont family have long been plagued by tragedy, the most famous of which being the murder of Dave Schultz. Dave Schultz. John DuPont was born in November of 1938. Socially and physically inept, he grew up to be a very strange man. Oh, he always idea. suffered bursts of paranoia accusing his wife of being a Russian spy. Oh, no. The marriage didn't last, and John took comfort in his lifelong obsession with wrestling. Despite having zero experience, he gave millions to an American university, but on the condition he could be head coach of their wrestling program. What? Come here. Come here, okay, let me rest so you. Which I need you to stand right you here between the balls. You have no experience. And you need to enjoy but, it and stay there for about an hour. But because you give money, you can be the coach wow just there's only one position the ball drop honey shall I hit the uh, space bar that's for sure the kind of thing I would do in his position it's a fun idea but before long they realized he was just a crazy person and shut down the whole program Dang. so he decided to convert his mansion into a training center for wrestlers Throwing money into this the way only a crazy person would. Many amateur wrestlers were attracted to the center. Among them was Dave Schultz, a seven-time world and Olympic gold medalist. Wow. For a while, all went well. But in time, John DuPont's crazy <laughs> ways got the better of him. He claimed the mansion was haunted and that ghosts hated him personally. He would walk around carrying a handgun ranting about time travel. <coughs> okay. He would get drunk and drive his car into the building. Then in 1996, he murdered Dave Schultz, shooting him three times. His motive has never been clear, but he was obviously a deeply disturbed man. His psychological demons could easily be attributed to the generations of inbreeding. In almost all species of animal, inbreeding is known to cause a buildup of negative recessive genes, the type of genes that result in serious mental disorders. In humans, these genes are especially recessive and often reveal themselves only later in life. Wow. This could in theory explain the madness of John DuPont, despite being born decades after the inbreeding was put to an end. That's crazy. Even with long-term inbreeding, dangerous genes are so recessive that only a minority suffer their consequences. This was proven by royal families in Europe. For most of history, Europe was ruled by absolute monarchies, from Russia to Iceland. Seeing themselves as special, there was a tendency for royals to only marry other royals. But there was only a certain number of royal families out there. With such a small gene pool, inbreeding was inevitable. By the 1800s, it was said every royal in Europe was mentally ill. Still, while all royals carried dangerous genes, most were born relatively healthy. It was only now and then that somebody was born sick. But when dangerous conditions... <laughs> These are very strong implications. Where's, Revealed the them. Where's the proof? 
themselves. They were bad, often resulting in bursts of hysteria, blindness, constant pain, and even blue urine. The more I'm watching this, the more I'm thinking, I feel like, I feel like some bull crap. Come on, uh, let's go. We almost done now. Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. Here, an artist's conception of how the feat was accomplished. A three-stage rocket. Number one, the booster in the class of an intercontinental missile. Its weight estimated at 50 tons. <laughs> That's extra, he said, to boost it out. But that's interesting. I mean, I feel that's like stuff for him, you, really, you can really find on the internet. Plus, by him saying, "Let me see, I can boost my video out to eight minutes." You, you didn't put some crap together to get a, get views. <laughs> Man, come on, bro. I'm now that other, that other inbred move, <clears throat> which, um, one was a little bit different. That was like really showing, showing a true inbred family. But right. They're well, right. That's we right don't here, know. Man. They're we'll right here, man. Oh, no. Boo. Uh -huh. DuPont family. Said, oh, boo. Boo. Stop it. You boo. lame. <laughs> you are lame. Wait. When they, they said. They Talks said, about the gunpowder listen, business. Let me put Listen. It. They said suspected blue urine. Oh. So aliens? Okay. I don't care how See, oh, you are. This is on AmericanHeritage.com. Blood relations, the rise and fall of the DuPonts of Delaware. So this may have some actual true facts behind it. This is American. I'm heritage. talking some of the stuff like the blue urine and stuff. Blue Obviously, I, I believe they could have done satanic stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but but. Well, they're giving them some. The first Pierre Samuel DuPont advocated marriage between cousins to ensure honesty of soul and purity of blood. Same thing the guy was saying. Several generations later, the relining so, patriarch and grumbling that the thinning of that pure blood by inbreeding was pro, um, producing free. So why? So why is it so that their family looked like this, but then you saw the other families on YouTube? They were like, oh "God!" Because as it got later on, they 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 stopped. That family is current day. I bought some The old. other family is current day. Okay, honey. Inbreeding stuff. With the intermarrying the cousins, most of them clustered around the original family holdings on the Brandywine River. Went right on producing so scores of little Pierre, Samuels, Alfreds, and Irene's with typical long DuPont noses in the family disposition towards tuberculosis. By the 1920s, the close to the work clan was the richest family in America. So, I mean, this is what it's saying. The 1920s? But as time progressed, they realized that it wasn't what they were supposed to be doing, I guess, and they stopped it. But early on, that's what was going on. Disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. So this person had some truth behind what he was saying. And there was some uh, some fairy tale maybe in some of this, but some of this was true. That was so crazy. Talk about Never Satanism in there? Uh, I didn't read down that far. But it's a lot of junk in between on what this is. Why is all this there? Golly. Well, I didn't see anything about I don't know. This, on, this was a little whack. I thought it was going to be like them other people that got the, you know, the do that. Like, right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, man. I don't see anything about Satan. Anyway, man, let's go end this out, man. We're running this over, man. Yeah. I thought it was going to be better than this, man. I mean, it was interesting, though. That we all I'm know surprised the DuPont see if family gonna, is, is, is well known for being wealthy and whatever the products and stuff that they sell or whatever has been carried on down the family line. But this was quite interesting to me. Well, there are some people that had evil mindsets, like inbreeding. That is not a God thing right there. Inbreeding stopped in the very early biblical days to populate start the earth but then once it got up the bloodlines couldn't be mixed anymore and then it, right. it became a bad thing yeah um mm -hmm. but oh, shirt is on the inside out. good <laughs> <laughs> don't do that cuckoo, cuckoo. I, uh, i'm out of here i'm not cuckoo, cuckoo. my mama my mama and dad weren't brother and sister and i'm already here um let's go so <laughs> Oh, all right. 
All right, y'all, let us know what you think of this video and if you want us to do more of these, because this was kind of interesting. <laughs> 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 All right, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know All if y'all right, like this or not. So we'll see. Come back We're and join see. us for the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. We love you, and see you on the next video. Yeah.